Hello, you guys. Welcome back to my channel, Plus Size in Canada. I'm Miranda, and today I'm bringing you a fallish kind of video. We have a Bath and Body Works haul, um, a fall tag. I'm going to show you my decorations and their minimalist capacity. <laughs> if you've been following along, I have had a hard time finding new fall decor this year. And last year was the first year that I bought any fall decor other than, of course, like pumpkins and stuff that you do for Halloween. So there's that. I will show you at the end of this video what I have around the house. Um, but for now, I would like to start off with my Bath and Body Works haul. I went to Bath and Body Works last week and because they had a sale on. I think it was it was buy one, buy two or get one. No, buy one, get one free. Um, on their candles. So, and their candles are stupidly expensive. Um, but if you can buy one, get one free, then you get two for the price of one and then you're winning, right? It's all about justification for me. <laughs> but I absolutely love candles. I love, it's not so much in the summer and not even really that much in the spring, but fall and winter and candles and me, <sighs> there's like a calmness that comes when you light a candle. And of course, if you have ever shopped at Bath and Body Works, you already know, okay? You already know what I'm about to talk to you. You, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> you know what I'm about to say, okay? The best. So I got four candles. There's two in this bag and two in this bag. And I smelled them again this morning and I was trying to figure out which one do I even like the best? So I'm, I don't know, I'm undecided. So I'm gonna try to decide right now while we talk about it. So this one is called Pumpkin Schnickerdoodle or Snickerdoodle, I like Schnickerdoodle better. <laughs> it's a Miranda-ism, that's just how I am. So I love how this looks so fallish, but look at the, I was gonna say look at the roof on my land, the lid, <laughs> it's cute. Oh my heck. Okay, this has like a vanilla pumpkin smell, pumpkin snickerdoodle. I don't even know that I've ever had a snickerdoodle before. It's like a pumpkin-y, vanilla-y, cinnamon-y treat. I really like that. Okay, so starting off, this is in number one place. This <laughs> I smelled a lot of candles when I was in there. And some people say, that you don't need to smell the actual candle itself, that you can just smell the lid. Psh, pish posh on that. I smell the lid, I smell the candle. The candle has way more scent than the lid, okay? This might be like a little more uh, fancy maybe to smell the lid, but I'm not fancy. <laughs> I'm not trying to impress anybody. I'll stick my nose right in the candle and get myself a good whiff. So. <laughs> This one is called Pumpkin Cupcake and it looks stinking adorable. Look at the little, tiny little pumpkin on the top. Love it, love it, love it. And it's pink. So of course, Winnie's gonna love this one too. Oh, crap. See, it's so hard to pick. I picked four excellent candles. Oh, okay. Well, this one, there's more of a like um, Lip Smackers um, vanilla cake kind of smell. Yeah, like you remember back in the day, the lip smackers that like literally smelled like it was absolute cake. Yeah, that's what this one is. Oh, it's good. But I think, hold on, I'm going to check it. Hold on, check it. Yeah, this is still number one. Okay, what is this one? Pumpkin schnickerdoodle, still number one. And sorry, you might like move every time I set it down on my bench here. I moved my chair over here so I could look a little more like fallish <laughs> okay yeah and this one yeah there's more of like a cake well duh it's cupcake <laughs> there is a cake smell okay um so that's number two all right now i'm gonna hit up this bag and i only bought four because i'm not a crazy person <laughs> well i am actually <laughs> clinically maybe but um i know my limits and uh, if I bought more than four, I would be like running into my Christmas season, still using a fall candle, and I will not do that. That is not my scene. I actually still have three, uh, three Christmas candles from last Christmas um, that I am like so ready to use as soon as Halloween is over. It is already Christmas in my heart right now, but as soon as Halloween is over, a Christmas candle is being lit the very next 
day and I'm so excited, but I already have three of those. So I knew, um, what is it? The date is like September 20th ish. I'm not sure what date it is. 21, 22. I really don't know. And it doesn't really matter because it's COVID and who the heck cares what date it is. Anyways. Um, yeah. So I only got four because I knew I wasn't going to need a ton. Okay. It's making sense. I take a long, I like walk around subjects really easily and try to get into the middle. It's really hard. Um, this one looks really cute, really, really festive. -y. Look how the orange is. And this is, oh my goodness, there's a little squirrel. That's a little squirrel. Or is it a fox? Okay, guys, what is it? A fox or a squirrel? Fox or a squirrel? Oh, it might be a fox because of the tail. Anyways, whatever. If you hear voices, Skylar is at school right now, but in the gaming room. He is at school on his iPad. It's interesting times here. Um, anyways, this one is called Caramel Pumpkin Swirl. Guys, I like caramel. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> I wish you could smell it. There is definitely a caramel and almost a cakiness about this one too. I haven't had cake in a few weeks, actually a couple months. Maybe that's why I picked all cake smelling kinds. <laughs> I love smelling things. Okay, hold on, let me smell my number one again. The camera might jiggle, I'm sorry. Oh, this is really hard. Okay, I got a good whiff of the schnickerdoodle. Let me take another good whiff of the pumpkin squirrel. Squirrel? <laughs> Caramel pumpkin swirl. Oh, this is gonna be tied for number one. Yes, I can do that. It's my game. <laughs> now I have one more left. Let's see if it can knock the number ones out of the water. Oh, it just might. Oh, it just might. I know I like this one. I know that because this morning I was like, ooh, I don't know. I really like this one. Guys, vanilla pumpkin marshmallow. Okay, just let that sink in. Vanilla pumpkin marshmallow Three things that smell amazing. Three things that can taste amazing too. Okay, that just like, can you imagine a vanilla pumpkin marshmallow pie? That has to happen. Somebody, that's gotta be somewhere. Oh, it smells good. <sighs> it's like um, camp, what is it called? Campfire marshmallow or camp side marshmallow. There's another candle that I have. Campfire marshmallow. Anyways, whatever. It's like a Christmas time one, I think, or toasted marshmallow. I don't know. Marshmallows smell good. This one is good guys, but I don't think it beats the other two. So I think we have a tie for first place. <laughs> I picked all, like I really smelled a lot of candles guys and I picked the best ones. So of course they're all going to be good. Oh my heck. Caramel pumpkin. Guys, yeah, caramel pumpkin. Let's try the schnickerdoodle and just see. Dang it, I don't know. <laughs> they both smell so good. So I'm gonna say we have a tie for first place. They both get a gold medal and it is caramel pumpkin swirl and pumpkin schnickerdoodle. Okay. So that was fun. Anyways, I really wanted to get that haul done and get it up because I wanna start lighting them and smelling them. And this morning it was zero degrees outside. I sent Winnie to school with a toque and gloves on. So it is time for me to light candles. I have been lighting my, um, I have pumpkin spice tea lights that I got last year and I have been lighting those, but they're just so little and they only give a little smell, but I still do like just a little bit of fire in the house just makes me, like cozy, like instantly cozy. Notice how I'm cozy right now. I got a sweater on and I got some pillows behind me. I'm just feeling the cozy guys. I just am. So of course you already know, beach mouth doesn't care if it's fall. It's here all year long. Anyway, so I was asked to do or tagged to, 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 to go. <laughs> oh, you guys. Okay. I was um, tagged to do a fall tag from my friend at Eerie Naughty Adventures, my friend Stephanie. You guys know I talk about her all the time. I absolutely love her. She got me through a very 
difficult time in my life and I will always be grateful for her positivity. She is just a good friend and I love her. Love you, Steph. Anyway, so she um, tagged me in a fall tag. So I'm gonna answer questions. It's kind of like a tag you're it, but then there's questions to answer about fall, okay? Does it make sense? Curtis is like, what the frig is a tag? And <laughs> that was an excellent interpretation of exactly how he said that to me. Um, anyways, it's just questions that you tag somebody and then they have to answer the questions. And then you're supposed to tag somebody else, but I don't really know that I'm gonna do that. <laughs> But I will tag you guys, pick one of these questions, just pick one of them and answer it in the comments down below so I can get to know you guys a little bit better. Um, I absolutely love my relationships, our relationships that we're building here on this channel and they truly are a real friendship to me. And I absolutely know at some point I'm gonna meet some of you guys or all of you guys, <laughs> you never know. Um, and it will be like, it, it will be very special, honestly. It's like a soul sister kind of thing, and I love it. So anyways, fall tag, here we go. Okay, what signifies fall for you? Well, for me, I would say the colder air and changing of the leaves, obviously. They are so pretty, and um, it's special. I like that. Okay, what is your favorite frugal fall activity? Um... My favorite frugal fall activity is probably uh, lighting a candle. Can that count? <laughs> um, it's frugal to get pumpkins. I like pumpkins. Um, I like digging them out. I'm so good at digging them out. Guys, ice cream scoop. Do it. Scrape the sides with an ice cream scoop. That is my jam. I am so good at it. Anyone needs their pumpkin carved out, just talk to me, guys. Scoop it out. No problem. No problem. Um, yeah, that's kind of cheap and I like doing that. Also going for walks. It's just like fall activities are just basically like living normal life, but just in the fall, right? Um, what's on my fall 2020 bucket list? To not get COVID-19. That's, <laughs> there's actually, as of right now, there are no active cases in PEI, um, Nova Scotia, and New Brunswick. So there are absolutely no cases, no active cases in all of the Atlantic bubble. Um, and I heard on the radio this morning, there was like 2,900 cases, active cases everywhere else. Is that right? It doesn't sound like a lot. I know, but we were down to like not very many at all. So in all of Canada, but now it's kind of, you know, the next wave. Good times, good times. Um, what's something that you'd like to do in fall, but I haven't yet. Apple picking. I have never, never gone to an apple orchard. What in the heck? There are apple orchards all around me. I have never gone to an apple orchard in my entire life. Isn't that sad? Be sad for me. That's sad. <laughs> My boys have gone to an apple orchard with their class when they were, I think, in grade one or grade two. Um, so maybe, oh, I don't know if Winnie will go this year because of, huh, yeah, probably not. There'll probably be no field trips this year. But I really want to go to an apple orchard. And I've said this so many times, but the reason why I've never gone is because I always look at like other people's pictures online and think, oh, I want to do it. And then I see like the background of all the people that go there. <sighs> Social situations with a lot of people make me uncomfortable. And especially when we're in a global pandemic, I just, ugh. but I want to go. I want to go. And I actually am thinking maybe I'll like take my kids out of school someday and just go like during a weekday. That sounds like a good idea. Anyways, I really want to go apple picking and I love fresh apples, like the Macintosh, the Gravensteins, like the really fresh, tart, sweet apples. They are so good in the fall. So that is on my list of things that I want to do, but I haven't yet. And it's a good idea. Um, something I don't like about fall, critters, rodents. No, Ugh. I hate them. Ugh, so gross. Okay, that's it. <laughs> um, is pumpkin spice worth the hype? 
Duh. Yes. I like my coffee black. So I'm not into the whole like pumpkin spice drinks, but the smell, the food, yes, it is absolutely worth the hype. Very good. Um, best way to spend a rainy day, laundry. <laughs> Actually, I love to do my laundry on a rainy day. I love to have um, a warm sweater on and like sit down and watch a movie and um, maybe read a book, you know, like I love... I love rainy days and actually we're about to get a lot of rainy days. So good things coming to me. <laughs> um, favorite spooky movie. Um, Curtis and I just watched signs again. I love that movie. I love the village also by M night Shyamalan. I don't know how to say his name. So I always say it like that. Um, the sixth sense love, um, that's Skylar blowing his nose. <laughs> He's so loud. Um, what else do I like? Unbreakable, um, Split and Glass. Like M. Night Shyamalan. -lam. He is so good at making those kind of movies where you're just like, you don't know what's going to happen and it could go anywhere. It's like he is a very big thriller kind of guy and he does it really well. I always know there's going to be a twist in every one of his movies. Like I watched The Sixth Sense when I was probably in middle school. I wasn't that old. And I remember being absolutely terrified, terrified when that twist came in that movie. If you haven't watched Sixth Sense, guys, trust me on this. Bruce Willis, Haley Joe Osment, like it's an old movie and I haven't watched it in so long. I actually would really like to watch it again, but it's it's one of those, like, it's like, it could be real life and it's scary. <laughs> Anyways, I love that. And also, not that long ago, I don't know who made this movie, but Sandra Bullock is in it and I love her. Um, Premonition. That's That was on Netflix. I think we watched it a little bit ago. That's also a very good thriller, scary type movie where you don't know what's happening. Oh, I just got goosebumps remembering it. Ooh, made me cold. Um, okay. Favorite fall accessory. Ooh, that's a good one. Favorite fall accessory. Boots. That's probably it. Uggs. I have quite a few pairs of Uggs because I've been finding them while I've been thrifting. And yeah, like, you know, okay, we were camping this past weekend and I saw another mommy that had the absolute best outfit fall to a T. She had leggings on with Ugg boots. She had a hoodie on with a vest over top with a scarf and she was carrying around her coffee. And I'm like that right there, she is falling. She is fallen, right? That's, that's my favorite fall accessory. Just the fall cozy, cute fashion that goes with it. I, I love that. Um, hot chocolate or warm apple cider. <laughs> Hot chocolate or warm apple cider. Um, hot chocolate. Tom Hanks says it. Hot, hot. Hey, we got it. <laughs> yeah, we just watched the Polar Express too. <laughs> I'm crazy for Christmas if you don't know. Um, favorite fall food. Hmm. Let me, okay, this is going to be a weird one because you can get it anytime. You can get it anytime ever. Um, at least you can around here. Maybe this is like a weird thing that only happens in New Brunswick, but I don't know. So there are suckers that are green and they have caramel on them. It is a caramel candy apple sucker. Those, oh, they hit you right here in the sweet spot. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, it's the sour with the sweet of the caramel. Oh my goodness, I really want one now. I really, really want one now. I used to get them all the time when I was in high school. I would go up to the corner store, which was like at the corner of the street where the high school was, and I would buy like a bag filled with them and then share them with all my friends, and it was so fun. Oh, I would even give them to the teachers that we were in their class so that they would let us have suckers, you know. Um, good times, and they are still, I had one last year. And they are still so good. So I should probably get myself a little sucker at some point and enjoy that. Um, the best thing about my town in the fall. Well, <laughs> I'm from a very small town. We have a really nice market here. 
that they have like a corn maze and um, all the fall foods and fall decor and stuff. So that's really nice. But I would probably say my very favorite thing about fall in my small town is that um, there are so many trees. There are so many trees. Like we're not a big city. We literally are a small town and um, the trees are everywhere and they're gorgeous gorgeous you know how like some people go for like a sunday drive to see the trees um i don't have to do that i can walk around my block and there are trees everywhere and i'm very very grateful for that and it's like you can see god at work and it's beautiful and it's like a time of you know renewing and letting go of things that you know were holding you back things that were weighing you down you just it's like it's so significant for me and I absolutely love it. So the trees are gorgeous. I love you trees. <laughs> and thanks for the air, by the way, you know, oxygen. <laughs> um, plans for Halloween. I was actually just talking with my friends this weekend about possibly doing a Halloween party because Halloween is on a Saturday. And we were thinking like we could have like a Halloween party in the afternoon. And then all the kids could go to bed at a regular time on Saturday night. And then mommy and daddy well, actually, I'm not even lying to you. I've been going to bed at like 8.30, 9.30 every day since school started. It's really good for me, though, because I wake up and I'm a happier mommy and it's beautiful and I am not cranky. And yes, I drink like eight cups of coffee a day, but that's OK. It's black. At least there's no sugar. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, so we're thinking we might do a party. But actually, I was literally thinking this morning, and I still need to talk to Curtis about it, but I kind of not, I kind of don't want to trick or treat at all. Our town hasn't um, kiboshed the entire <clears throat> Halloween season, but I think they should. Sorry, guys. I think that they should cancel it because it goes against everything that we've been learning and yes kids need to be kids of course but you can have fun with your kids by yourself and that's what i plan on doing um we probably will do a party is what i'm thinking then um winnie can dress up i don't know that the boys would actually want to dress up but i sure as heck would dress up that would be fun um so i think we'll probably end up doing that and we all get along really good and it's just my group of friends guys is well it's kind of more like family it actually is family <laughs> but it's, it's friends, you know, you have family that are just family and you have family that are friends. And this group is family that are friends. So anyways, so yeah, I think we're going to do that. And I want to call, we normally only go around to family's houses anyways, but like my father-in-law just got tested for COVID yesterday. Um, you know, he's got all these symptoms. My husband's grampy, also has a lot of symptoms right now and i just don't think it's a good idea to like pass germs around to your family so i actually think we'll probably need to let um our family know that we're not going to trick-or-treat this year because normally they make up big treat bags for our kids and i'll say you know if you guys still want to buy treats for the kids you can but we're not going to go drive around on halloween night to visit everybody like that so which is actually it sounds kind of good to me, to be honest, because Halloween is kind of stressful because you have to drive all the way around. And we have family that lives like 15 minutes away from us. So then we're like, we just drive. It's uh, anyways, it's a thing. So I'm kind of excited to just be like opting out this year. Anyways, I still will buy my kids all kinds of treats. Of course, I will plan games. We will have fun. And um yeah, actually, I should plan some games for our probably party that's going to be happening. I'm just having ideas while I'm talking to my friends. Um, okay, what am I thankful for? Um, well, I mean, there's the obvious. My health is huge right now because I was not healthy for a long time. And I finally have my health back. Actually, speaking of which, I'm getting a phone call appointment from my doctor very soon. So I should hurry up with this video. Um, I'm thankful for my health. I'm thankful that I have another chance to um, be even healthier. I've been waking up in the mornings now and just being so grateful and thanking God right away for another day um, to, you know, do better and to be nicer and to, um, you know, 
get even healthier. And especially right now I need to, um, I'm doing really good with like eating and exercising and stuff, but I've noticed like if I do really good in one aspect in my life, another aspect kind of goes not as good. And I have been kind of a, <laughs> a little bit of a B I T C H lately, <laughs> not to my kids, but to my husband. So I, I acknowledge We've been having some like bickering that's happening a lot and I do take the blame mostly on me because I haven't been very nice lately. Anyway, so uh, yes, I am thankful for another day to do better and I'm thankful for my kids, my husband, um, for our house, for warm blankets and beds and cars to get us places. Um, but also in the fall, I am always reminded of when my Cooper was born um, my water broke at 28 weeks along and it's not supposed to break till you're 40 weeks. So, um, I'm actually going to do, uh, a birth story of Cooper, um, very soon because his birthday is coming up and the fall always reminds me of Cooper and of God and his miracles because <sighs> it was such a scary time. I mean, my water broke at 28 weeks. That is not normal but I will get into that. We did have a rough start with him, um, but as you know, he's my crazy Cooper now and he's wild and fun and everybody loves him. So um, I will make a, vid a video, I'll make a video. <laughs> I will make a video about that very soon. So it will be coming up on the channel soon. Um, okay, last thing. Woo, okay, what gets you in the fall spirit? I didn't know we said fall spirit, but I guess. Like some people really like fall. I'm just like, I'm ready for fall because I want Christmas. So <laughs> I just like, I want fall to like get here, hurry up, Halloween, get out of the way. And then it's, it's that's a Hanson. But it's not like Christmas at all. Cause I remember when you were here and all the fun we had last year. Yeah, that is Hanson but I know other people sing it too. Anyways, I've been listening to Christmas music for months, guys, okay? I know that I have a problem, I fully know, but it's what makes me happy, so like, right on, eh? <laughs> How Canadian did that just sound? I become fully aware of my Canadianisms when I edit these videos back and I'm like, Miranda, like that is totally Canadian. You know, just a stereotype. That's okay. Um, anyways, guys, I'm going to say goodbye. Thank you so much for watching this fall tag. Thank you, Stephanie, for tagging me. And I'm going to go light a candle. That's what's going to happen. Have a good day, you guys. I love you so much. See you next time. Bye.